Windows 8 it's a professional edition I just installed it it looks really funky um, this new look you're seeing here is called Metro UI although I hear it's not going to be that um, popular or there are some legal issues using that name so my Microsoft might change the name to something like um, I don't know we'll have to wait for it so let's have a look um, you can see there are some icons you can change around um, this look they call it tile look so you can rearrange the tiles put them in different places and somehow they um, reorganize themselves which is pretty nice to look at so I have already um, you basically these are all the different aspects of your life like little apps in your mobile phone so I've already um, added my hotmail account in here and you can see how nicely it um, it, it gets there okay not sure how much you can uh, you know hear me but um, I'll try to keep it uh, keep it simple so like you can see whenever you choose something it comes up what if I'm see with double click? I guess nothing happens. There are some options, so yeah, that's it basically. Um, haven't heard, haven't actually tried anything more. So I'm gonna come out of it. If you escape, if you press escape, nothing happens, but if you press Alt F4, it's closed um, between different uh, windows, active windows. So if I go to the calendar thing, I think this is my Hotmail calendar. I guess I don't have anything in here. And if I right click, interestingly, as you can see near the bottom of the screen, uh, some sort of setting window comes up. Um, if I go to month view, it's a week view. Again, if I right click, day view comes in. And if I double click, entries comes up, which is nice and neat. And uh, it's pretty interesting. So come out of here and then messaging, I guess this is also um, by my avatar. Um, nothing here. So if I go back, I can't really go back now. No, I have to close out of it. Uh, that is not the one I was in. So messaging. Interesting messaging. You can write new email, but you have to choose from people. Uh, for example, I don't know anyone. So maybe this one. If I choose, so I'm actually writing an email, something, messaging. Uh, excuse the noise. I'm near the U.S. Embassy, so some sort of um, protest is going on. I'll try to wipe it off later on. So if I just say no thanks, or what does it say to? And you can choose between, you can actually move between the, the, what do you call this thing, the Metro UI. I'll just keep calling it Metro UI until I get a proper name. So you can, if you press the Windows key, it flicks between um, the, the UI, user interface and the desktop. So this is our traditional desktop, it looks a lot like Windows 7 desktop and I usually do that so that it much I've got more real estate and I don't have any real uh, so you can see here down here it's Windows 7 8 professional edition um, interestingly if you click on this this thing comes up um, which I'm guessing is a uh, uh, I have to take it off actually um, I have to cut that thing off anyways so yeah, uh, Metro UI, whether I it, think it's using the local location service and it's showing da -da -da, it's pretty nice. Uh, well, I don't know what to do with it. So yeah, change to Fahrenheit. Yeah, pretty nice. I guess um, it's mostly for touch, touch screen, I think. I don't have any account with store. Inter Explorer is nice looking. It comes up as full screen mode, you can see. 
Um, oh, if you take your mouse to the corners, you will see some things come up. Uh, I guess this is the start button, which is also the thing I showed you earlier. Um, this is the address bar. This is now at the bottom, so I don't know why. Um, you can always go to the Bing uh, homepage. Uh, interestingly, oh, you can keep clicking. So I'll just come out of here and um, uh, SkyDrive. You have to obviously log into it and to come out of here and yeah that's pretty much Windows 8 um, everything else looks Windows 7 wise so I maybe I don't know much about um, Windows 8 that's why I can't really show you the real cool stuff as you can see the Windows um, start menu is actually missing so they may have re um, what do you call this thing they may have replace the start menu with um, with uh, with the metro UI so if you want to go to your usual things I think um, like settings in here these are uh, this is my notifications uh, it's just if you click on power it comes up it's just all the same buttons but uh, looks different if I click press PC info what comes up Windows 8 cool as you can see this is the first look Windows 8 big logo um, it's not activated obviously I haven't activated it. it's just a test you got the action center advance looks almost the same I really don't see any difference uh, maybe I have to check what's new in Windows 8 anyways um, so if you take your mouse to one of the corners this thing comes up where you can um, choose between uh, different options um, settings control panel is still the same I'm doing it in using Kong Dashia Studio so yeah see if I I don't know how to do this okay there you go networking sharing center change adapter da, da, da. so I have to brush that off later on yeah so I don't know what else I can show you here um, maybe some feeds uh, so music I'm guessing it's Windows Media Player um, well they're not calling it Xbox service looks like this is more like as the word says, consumerization, you know, um, open or play something. There. there are no files, obviously, it's a fresh install, but it's not going to be, it's going to be nice, I think, in my opinion. Um, um, I'll come back with a um, more detailed video if I can. Um, I think it was just uploaded to the system. Um, for us to be downloaded last uh, just two days ago or even on the 15th which was yesterday so these are the photos what is it showing offline I have no idea um, yeah so pictures are gone uh, maps yes maps I wanted to show you it's pretty nice mm, it's showing it's not connected to internet I don't know why but um, you get the idea you can zoom in mm, and it's called Bing map I think and they're calling it Bing map so there you go it's called Bing you can add show traffic and it doesn't look good right now near London you can change the map aerial view which is I think in Google terms satellite I'll stick with the road view and then my location it may find out maybe not I don't know and you can also have this direction thing so yeah I mean trust me I'm a Microsoft fan but um, maybe we'll just have to wait for it to be mature anywho um, 
I mean, now what else I can show you? Maybe I will show you if I can. But for the time being, sayonara.